Dodger way dogs. different. Dodger dogs. Vegan Dodger dogs. They make those? Yeah. You know. When you buy Walk them. them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she's back with her <laughs> laugh, everybody. Hi. Oh my God. Did you guys miss Amaris? Because the only reason why we brought her back on is because lately, you've noticed, lately, I don't know if you follow her on Instagram, but her pictures are provocative AF. And you know what? Yeah, I mean, I, I barely... Okay, but... Okay. Can she get an oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Let me... In my defense... Don't buck, don't buck the mic. Yeah. If, if I get a bite... Don't cross block the mic. I don't <laughs> feel like I am perceived that way. You Are you know hornier what? lately? No. I uh. just think that it was... It's literally just... <laughs> I don't perceive myself that way. But you know sexy. what? The, thing, the, the reason why I asked that it's is because... Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. But you know what? It's sexy. It's a sexy and respectful way. It's not... I don't think it's thirsty at all. Huh. I think you're... A little bit of thirsty. You got to add a little bit. No, I think if you know me, though, I'm, it doesn't... Per, it's not perceived But if that you way. don't, we could say... Okay. Yeah. Uh, how are your debatable. How are your DMs right now, Amaris? You know what's Can funny? we look through they're them? They're still pretty... They're not, they're not as entertaining as you would think. Let's really? Let's go there. Yeah, That's they're not. Crazy. Let's go through a few right now. No, you want it. You know what I always <laughs> think, see, though? I want to read some. <laughs> <He's>, Actually. <laughs> see Anthony right there. <laughs> hey, I'm right here next to you. Remember me from the fucking, you know what I, from the podcast? I, I, you, no, you know what it is, though? I think because you said this before, um, that if guys. If guys are good kissers? No, 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 no. Rocky has said this before. Like, if guys are in your DMs, like. Being disrespectful, that means that they don't respect you. Okay, that's what but you put out there. Right. But if they don't, if they're not in your DMs, like, sending you, like, Dick disrespectful picks. things, that means that they know that you, like, they perceive you as being, you know, respectful, yeah. like, of yourself. So. No, I get it. I, I think um, the girls that, um, some girls that I do know, they do get dick pics and so on. But I'm thinking, like, well, look what For you me? put out there. You know? No, I'm not that confident. Hey, have have no. you ever randomly like just sent a dick pic to a girl? Never in my life. Me, my, me ne- I don't. And I see these girls. They like will post like, "What the fuck?" Like a lot of girls. It's don't. novel. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> novel the king had Yo, dick pics. And I'm like, what the? F-? I've never once just like, "Hey, how, how's your morning?" Boom, big fucking <laughs> average size dick comes up. <laughs> Notice I said average. So I'm not trying to pump you guys up, bitches. Don't yeah. say that word. We already had this conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna say don't. It. I'm not hi-nas. N- no. Yeah, it's okay. So you can say hi now, but just don't please. So G Money yes. Amherst were arguing on Instagram. Not arguing on Instagram the other day, but G Money said that he'd rather be with the girl that's a little bit of meth than with the vegan. Why would you say that, G Money? It was a f- fucking funny joke. Yeah. I mean, I don't I would rather I'm not gonna be with none of them. Yeah. I'm not gonna be with a meth head or a vegan. You, you could you put general. them on you put them in the same category though? No, not at all. But I wouldn't be with if there's a category with girls, I'm not gonna be. You with. wouldn't be with vegan for girls, hundred percent. So Amber's wanting to be with you, wouldn't be with her. No, she already tried to get at me, and I was oh. like, that's not happening. That's yeah, I actually tell my life. You know, what? I respect you for that yeah. because you could have got with her if you wanted to. If I, yeah, that's that's very respectful yeah. that you do that. Um, Amber, what have you been up to? Are since? you guys done? No, <laughs> just don't say you know, yeah. the vegan <laughs> thing. Like you know, too, Rocky. Like vegans are just a little different. Some like they gotta let you know I'm a vegan. I'm like and not me. We're watching football. Chill I the never. Fuck out. <laughs> I know, but that football that's pig skin. I would never like chill the fuck but out. I'm not that type it's of okay. vegan. What type of vegan are you? No, I'm just saying. Like I've I've been a vegan for over maybe like probably like 15 years. Well, that's weird. You gotta tell us that, bro. You're you're talking about it. <laughs> so kidding. I think that I'm past that point. Maybe like somebody who's newly, they have to kind of all mention it all the time. Do you, but me, it doesn't bother me. Like I can, you can eat a steak in front of me. It wouldn't bother me. Yeah. I would never put it on you like, hey, you need to be vegan. Like if you ask me, I'm going to tell you. But if you don't, then we're good. So you love animals. I do love animals. Why are you eating all their food? Oh, dear <laughs> God. <laughs> so before the show started, um, I didn't a- Amherst had a FaceTime, by the way. Amherst had to FaceTime her mom because her mom watches the show. And thank you for watching the show. You're amazing. Kathy, what's up, Kathy? I love you. They call her cat. Yeah. Kitty cat. We'll be so, on the so cat messaged me. You know how me. I like my stuffing. Cat messaged me and was like, he better not be disrespectful. to me. You better tell him something. I'm like, actually, surprisingly, you guys, because I did come on here thinking like, hmm. because, you know, you, you make yourself. No, I don't. Wacko makes me sometimes look like a fucking. Can you right. explain to that because the video you're talking about. about yeah, you were talking about a video. You hear Mia? No, yeah, I've actually I've never seen oh. it before. My mom told me that, but mm-hmm. but besides that, She's a big supporter. From what I've seen on the show, <laughs> I you guys Thanks give me love. anxiety. You know, honestly, you guys fight so much on the show. Like you guys cuss so much. Thank you. you guys are always Thank fighting, you. and it gives me anxiety. And I don't need that kind of energy in my life, so I don't watch just because of that. But I've been around now that I've been around you just for a few hours, obviously, and I'm like, you're you're you, cute. No, no, 
no, no, no, no, no. Like you, you make yourself out to be this like <laughs> tough guy, disrespectful. He's a tough guy. Like, though. like, like if tough I did, yeah, you are. But if I didn't know you, I would, I would probably still have my same feelings for you and be like, you're so disrespectful to women. You but degrade them, and like, I don't, I wouldn't talk to you. But getting to know you, you're actually women, a really man. good guy. Well, no, you, you do. You say that, but you don't. I think I'm, I'm treating that woman or that girl who I'm talking to as I would treat a man. So if we want this equal rights thing, and if I'm talking, and if Rocky's saying something, I'm like, hey, let me talk. Just because I said it to Rocky, no one's going to care. But no, if I'm I say not it referring to, to that. That is true, not, No, yeah, hold on. No, you're right. But if I'm saying it, see, like I said, hold on to you right now. If I was to say it to Rocky, it wouldn't matter. But I said, hold on to you. It's going to be like, oh, my God. No, I dude. stopped. Thank you for knowing. <laughs> oh, okay see this is where you got me fucked up <laughs> and i don't cuss a lot but i'm going You're to right t- now i told you i was gonna get you to cuss you sorry did. kathy that was that was a joke i love her i do want to get into it before first of all we have an amazing guest today, another sure. amazing guest and i can't wait to get him on um but before we get into that because we're not going to do topics around because we have a super good guest. I don't waste the time. Mm-hmm. But i do want to get into people are making a big old deal about the tequila thing coming out i think it's yeah, um, is it kylie jenner Kylie or nope, Kendall? No, it's Kendall. Kendall, okay. Kendall, thank you. So people are making a big deal about her having a tequila out right now, but she says she's not Mexican, so she can't have a tequila. Do you see that or yeah, not? They're saying I mean, that she's using... And then they're forgetting about The Rock. Yeah. Me? And Clooney. No, I'm just saying, no, like so, people. They're, uh, they're... But it's because she's famous, right? More yeah. famous than any of them, right? Yes. Let's just, let's just say that. And it sucks that they're saying that she's using our culture. She's stealing our culture to get money. Okay. Gotcha. Which is, oh, fuck it, do it. I really don't give a fuck because I'm telling you right now, if I put out a fucking tequila, right? Me and Rock put out a tequila. You could be part of this fucking Michi. tequila we're, we're putting out too. A Michi cup now coming soon. Um, but motherfuckers would not support or love that fucking tequila. They would rather fucking hate than support it. So everybody's going to be like, oh, she's stealing the culture. Oh, she's doing this. She's doing that. While they're drinking a bottle of fucking Patron that's owned by a white man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what fucking bothers me. I don't care. If she's out there making her money, let her make her money. Let her make her feria. You don't have to buy it. But at the end of the day, the Latino culture lately has been hating, hating, hating. And right now, I mean, me and Rock talked about this is a big part of me and Rocky right now is supporting each other. You know what I'm saying? So if there's a fucking tequila company out there that needs promotion or you're like, hey, looking for a fucking help. Let us know, because we'll be the first to back you guys up. Absolutely. But we're also going to be the first to tell you guys, let's stop hating on each other and let's start bringing each other up, because we are not the minority. We're the majority, especially right here in Southern California. So let's fucking rock and roll. What am no, I wasn't going to say anything. I think I, I haven't seen that they're hating necessarily on oh, what a lot you guys I are saying. So. But I don't, I don't follow like a lot of that, so like yeah. you know whatever. But what I have been seeing is that people just are are saying, okay, look, if you want to have your tequila, great, but let's bring awareness to to the way that these who, the the people who are making your tequila, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Like let's in Jalisco, where wherever they're getting their tequila made, let's bring awareness to how little they're getting paid to 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 produce your tequila. But right? we, well, we can't say that. No, but that's at the I same think. time, we're Nikes. Yeah, you can't word, but that's a people big thing nick, too. people like to nick and pick yeah. what's good and what's bad yeah. at their time. But they're saying this with the Louis purse getting made, yeah. and who fucking knows where? Right. So knock your shit off, because in that case, just wear like a fucking bean bag or potato bag over your. You know okay. what I mean? So you can't say, well, at least no, not getting paid think, enough. I'm just saying, but I think that everything is honest. Chinese made, yeah. but I think now they're 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 asking these celebrities like, okay, cool, do you want to do this? But use your voice to spread awareness to to what is going on in these countries. What? Because guess what? You don't want them here as they're they're illegal aliens here, right? Mm-hmm. But yet you're going there. You don't want them here, but you're going there and you're having them create. Well, when you're gonna, making money on but that's, that. but that's just what, but that's just what people are. No, but yeah. that's just people. That, that's their. That's their. That's their fight. That's the right? reason to hate. So I don't exactly. think that's the reason. Yes, to hate. it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Because okay. okay. I'm telling you, right? Even if she went over there and started, they would be right. like, "Oh, now this bitch is. Oh, right. look at the shoes she's wearing right. over there. And, and, oh, and, like, and, come on. I think that's just not even just with with this culture. I think that's with anything because anybody can be like, uh. "Look, I want to support you." But then they're wrong for supporting you. So you're going to say. So no, I'm not, use, I'm not saying anything. I think we just live in a very sensitive time where no matter what you do, you can't do head. anything right. I think it's it's you know? the Latino community, like in general. Oh, like if, we're I going hate back to, if we're just going back to, like, I'm just speaking in general. And, yeah, and with, no, with, but like, with, if, with, if you, like, say, for instance, you, like, you, if you Doesn't look at the culture, BLM, like, 
they can have a fucking issue where we're kind of like, damn, that makes no sense. But they'll be right there supporting each other one right? fucking thousand. Even Latinos will go in there and support. I was one of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So why is it like when it's something for us, we'd rather sit back, talk shit, hate, instead of just bringing each other up. But was there not a That's our for biggest, Latino culture as well? Where? Not a big one. Name it. Dude. There was like a, it was a little Name tiny. It right now. For the kids in cages, there was. That was small. But it was, it, it, was it was a firecracker compared to a big old bond that BLM yeah. did. It's not even okay. comparison. You okay. can't even, know that. Is there a hashtag to support Latinos? Name it. Hashtag. No, it's not. Thank you. That's I mean, a, I that's a problem. Just hashtags off the bat. And this is no, no, no that's a problem though. I'm like, not saying you guys are yeah. right or wrong. No, we're not saying you. We're just talking to people. But you guys are both like this. I'm not saying that. No, you no, guys and are we're right not picking wrong. on you in any way. <laughs> no, you know, I don't like, want you to think that either. But like, I would honestly like you to be like, you know what? That's what, more, that's right. You're right. Like, you're right. Why don't we support each other? more? No, I agree. But I think I think I think you wait. You cut it right there. She agrees. No, no, no. But I never said you guys are wrong in this at all. I'm just kind of just going. I'm very. Rocky knows me. I'm very like. Well, here's this side and here's this. No, you're no. You're very. You're you're a very intelligent woman. You know what you're talking about. But your roommate DJ Angie V. Right. Me had a long conversation about supporting like Latinos and each other, and she's really big on that. Right. Huge on that. Right. And it's weird that you're not about that. About what? I'm fucking with you. What are you talking about? Yes, So like. Uh, I was just going to say that, um, I like his voice. I know. Yeah. And I just hey. want to say right now, it's correct. Hey, everybody labor. out there, this is a real radio voice. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, as far as the hashtag aspect of it, yeah. there are a lot of hashtags. The problem is, though, is that they're just not anything that's pushing the, the movement or, you know, creating there momentum is, for that. So some- you are, you are, you are correct, though, but I think on the, on the level of like, uh, say the Black Lives Matter, there's just such a big strong because of the core of and it. Because and because of the, the racism is, in that. Exactly. Oh, that's that's what it have, is. We do. We do. But, but, but it's, we do. But it's we definitely do. Because of, of slavery and everything that has no, been No, it's because no. they back each other up. If you don't yes, see that, right. that's a problem. No, they definitely you're... back each other up more than we back each other up. But I mean, and I think it just all goes back to like politics, and I think Latino gangs and people are so against each other from back, like from there. I'll tell you right now, my mom's on the phone every fucking day with her brother talking about her other brothers and sisters. All they do is just fucking you're, talk you're shit right. about Absolutely. each other. I grew up, I grew like up that. with that shit. I, me too. I grew up with my family <laughs> fighting I each mean, other. Like, ooh, like, we are just so used to no, being like, oh right. my God, this motherfucker uh-huh. did this. Like, I grew up like, with my, I, I grew, literally grew up with my mom's brother and sister fighting each other, stabbing each other, hitting each other. Whoa, so, I've watched that. Yes, I've seen it. Stabbing each other? I'm, I've seen it. So Jesus. trust me, I know I'm not, agree- I'm not disagreeing with anything you guys are saying by all means. I'm just, we just need somebody to yell at, and you're just there. So I, I, like, apparently, yeah. you're because vegan. Right now you like, just made me. You just you made like me, me look bad. Like, <laughs> you don't like Mexicans. <laughs> you don't like Mexican meat. <laughs> you don't like asada. No, right now you just you're like, oh, Angie V is a no. We, Angie and I have the same views. Yeah, hundred percent. Either way, even um, I, I like to think what we do on Street Scholar is more of a positive kind of mm-hmm. podcast. Um, it's a platform where people get their word out. I know some episodes we go a little berserk on topics, but at the end of the day, I I still feel like we're doing a positive thing and we'll still get stupid ass net bangers on the comments or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, dude, like, shut the fuck yeah. up. Like, and so we were already like on Foods Gone Wild, so we're considered food. Kind of a big deal. Food liberties. Mark Wahlberg watched our podcast. Uh, like, so we're, we're, doing, like how, we're doing all right. I mean, we had Mallow Man Ace in a couple of weeks. Like, yeah, bro, whatever. Bro. It's just getting better. But like, this is the thing too. If you're going to get anything out of the beginning of this fucking shit show right here, it's just that we really want to focus on us supporting each other. It's Absolutely. big. Like when it comes down to the Latino community, we're huge, especially here in Southern California. We're, we're not like, I, I don't want to stress it enough. We're not a minority. No, more. A, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, me and G money apps. Um, it, we don't need to say anything, but me and G money actually cancel a couple of guests and shows. Cause we want to make, we want to make room for our Latino community. Yeah. instead. And we did, we go, you know what? Let's not have them on the show. No disrespect to anybody. But uh, let's support each other first. Just like they're doing, we could do the same. Yeah. That's all we're doing. We're not, it's not racist well, there, or anything well, like that. Well, A, there should be no reason why Latinos aren't supporting Latinos. There should be no reason. Exactly. Well, I, Period. We, we, we want to know the reason why they. Yeah, why we don't. Why we don't. And, so I like, it. and I it's it. tough because I grew up that way too. At yeah. a certain point, like I'm growing up and I could hear like a Latino rapper coming up and the first time I feel whack. Don't even listen to his shit, but I'm just, I was so used to being yeah. a hater growing up. You well, hate on, but I'm going to go buy the fucking new CD from some other yeah. artists that I don't even fucking know. Even yeah. when, you know um, even when High Tone, when he was coming out. With Why do you music, think it's like that though? Hold on, uh, uh, when High Tone came out, you know, we all know High Tone. When he came out with his music, 
he never portrayed to be a gangster rapper. Never, he never portrayed to be this or that. But it was a miscommunity. Oh, that boost from Covina, or he's not this, he's not that. Like, dude, like, so what? Like, the music's kind of good. Leave it alone. But it just the own community is just hating on him, bringing him down instead of. But don't bump somebody from like wherever, like yeah. from Tennessee or wherever, or you know what I mean? Like, down your own local boy. But why? It's just mind blowing. Problem. Mind blowing. But anyway, we have a freaking awesome guest right now. So when we come back, Latino as well. Yeah, and, he, and, and, he's, and he's Latino as well. But I mean. But he supports everybody, what he does. It's yeah. really amazing. So when we get back, we'll be He's right back. Bomb. He's a bomb asshole. Get that out of the way. <laughs> but we'll be right back to this commercial. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. Um... <laughs> Hold on. Let's start all over. We're no, it's fine. Break. No, we wanted to say that Amherst loves Mexicans. Yeah, she's not racist. At all. What are you guys even talking we're just, about? We're just fucking with you again. Oh, we're not we're just fucking with you. Amherst loves everybody. That's her thing. She loves any kind of goodness. Any kind. Yeah, of, like, she has a good heart. A good heart. Bomb ass heart. So speaking of bomb, yeah. we have an awesome guest. A today. bomb ass guest. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself, please? Yep. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm a founder of Paulie's Project, and been doing it for nine years now. Now, what is Polly's project? Uh, so basically, Polly's project was inspired by my son Polly. Um, he's going to be 24 years old, but Polly was born uh, blind and autistic. So you know, it's a difficult situation. You know, Polly can't see and talk. Um, but at a young age, we found out that music really like soothed his soul. Yeah. You know, so uh, I get fast forward. You know, uh, now that he's older, and uh, I do a lot of volunteer work in Skid Row and throughout the homeless community. And uh, I was volunteering one morning, and one day I was walking in my car. I saw this guy with headphones. And it was like something sparked, you know, right away. I thought of my son, Polly. I was like, God, that guy has the same smile that Polly has, you know. Was Polly with you while you were walking? Uh, actually, he wasn't. He okay. wasn't. Yeah, I was just volunteering, uh, uh, doing a breakfast uh, serving at the Union Rescue Mission. I was by myself walking my car. And like I said, I saw this guy and something just triggered me, you know. So I went home that night and I was tossing and turning. I was like, all right, God, you put something in my heart, you know, like, how do I connect, you know, me giving back to the homeless and Polly and music. And I said, all right, I'm going to start something called Polly's Project. And me and Paul are going to hit the streets and donate radios, you know, easy concept. Right. So, um, you know, uh, I always say there's certain things I can't do with my son. Like maybe he's not going to make the three point shot to win the game or or uh, drive a car or what have you. Right. But that's how why I have so much passion behind Polly's project because I do it in my son's honor. And it's just a beautiful feeling. Take uh, us back to the beginning. Um, did you find out he was? You found out he was blind first, right? Yeah. And how 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 old was he? When yeah, he found I want to say he was like two to three months, you know. And and uh, his his you know as most babies their eyes kind of wander, so uh, he didn't really focus. But I said you know his eyes will correct itself or whatever. You know he's just a newborn. And uh, we took him to the pediatrician. They kind of did like a little light exam, and uh, I could tell something was up. Like the the pediatrician didn't want to tell us, oh, wow. but he looked. He gave us a weird look, and he says you know go to Children's Hospital. And I said, oh, okay, we'll go this week. And he's like, go oh, now, you know, and something oh, in his wow. voice. I was like, yeah, wow, exactly. Right. Cool. Yeah, right. Thumbs up, you know, and again, totally young parents. Um, mom's 18, I'm 20. So we, we go down to Children's Hospital and it was just like right off the bat, you know, they're pretty black blind. and white, you know, they're, oh, yep, he's blind. I'm like, I mean, it was just, I remember that feeling. Sort of like, cordial, like nothing. Yeah, like very something blunt. punchy in the stomach. Like Yikes. we literally like, we didn't even look at each other. We just like fell apart she yes. walked one way i walked outside of the hospital i'm just like what do i do and hear? being so young yeah yeah you know, it was i know heavy. that must feel like like at one point where you kind of like you wanted to not know he was blind or like when it hurt you were you in denial in a way oh you, yeah i mean your emotions no, 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 are right, all yeah. over the place like no 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 something's not right you know you're yeah yeah you, i need another opinion or some yeah exactly um but just knowing you know hearing you know these are the best ophthalmologists in the world at children's hospital it's like all right, this is the real deal, you know? So it kind of like emotions hit me for a couple of days, okay. but it wasn't almost till like years later, you know, where- um, Years. Yeah, I mean, well, fast forward, Polly's now three or four years old. We know he's blind. And, uh, you know, I was referring to Stevie- You accepted it already. Yeah, I refer to Stevie Wonder. I'm like, Stevie Wonder, look what he's done with his life. Absolutely. So, but I'm like, something still ain't right. Like, Polly's not walking, he's not talking. I have a lot of nieces and nephews that are Polly's same age. So I'm like- Okay, I get it. He's blind, but he should still be a little more advanced. Three and four. You know, so mm -hmm. again, go to the pediatrician and just go to the um, neurologist, you know, and uh, right off the bat, you know, they ran some tests and said that he was autistic. So 
So I was like, wow. So the doctor said, yeah, it's going to be an uphill battle. You know, he's blind and autistic. So he may never be able to see and talk. And that's a challenging. And that's exactly what happened. And how did you feel right there when you found out when you found that out now? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was another blow, you know. So at that point, you know, I just basically cracked, you know, and it right. took a toll on, it, uh, you know, young parents on her relationship. So yes. she was kind of in denial and took off. I was kind of like a wreck. So it ruined your guys' relationship. Yes, yes. Wow. I mean, it was a lot of strain, you know, feeling guilt, feeling all this stuff. Why, how, what, you know. And, uh, you know, I think with me, I had to be, you know, the father, the tough one. I said, of course. Um, you know, God just gave it to God gave him to us this way and we're just going to deal with it. Mm -hmm. But inside I was hurting, you know, so again, it took a toll on our relationship. We split that went into me drinking, rage, anger, wow. violence, drugs, okay. jail. I mean, I was a mess. Like right. the Paul here today, if you knew that Paul, like those two years, you wouldn't even want to be near me. Like I did a lot of horrible, I was a bad person, you know? Okay. Um, and that was just because of all of the, the yeah, emotions you just, were dealing just, with. And that I was just, your yeah, way I to take it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, you feel like, fuck, what could I do right now? Like, what is there I could do to help my son? And you feel like you're getting defeated. You're getting beat down. Mm -hmm. And so you, I'm going to drink. I'm going to do this. Like, mm -hmm. at what point in your life where you're like, fuck, I can't be doing this no more. I need to see what I can yeah. do mm -hmm. to help out my son and give him the best life he could get right now. Yeah. Um, glad you said that. Yeah, because, you know, there's always something that shakes you up. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was a... um a near death, you know, accident that almost took me, you know, um, police involved. It was, it was a horrible night. Um, but yeah, I ended up flipping my truck, um, totally out of it, barely lived and, and, uh, woke up in the hospital and my family was around me. I think that was my breaking point, you know, by them looking at me, you know, when mom looks at you in the eyes and you're laying on your back in the hospital, right. like, what are you doing? You know? And I'm just like, what am I doing? Like, God made me live for a reason. You know, I have to live for Paulie, you know, it's a blessing. And, and he's so innocent. In yeah, way, exactly. Right? So, um, you know, it wasn't like, oh, the next day I was up of and course. Like, it's the new Paul, you know, it took a few years. But, um, you know, like I said, I think Paulie's project was definitely my purpose and my passion. And that came a few late years later in life, you know. Um, but yeah, just, you know, people say, what's a, an average day with Paulie? You know, fast forward once he got into, I think. The doctors were so on it, too. They're like, when he hits his teen years, it's going to be tough. And I think it was like 16, 17, started having these meltdowns. And full, like, he'd get us just whack, whack. And, you know, he'd hit himself. And then as soon as I would grab him, he would just snap on me. And we'd be on the ground. He'd be punching by. I mean, you know, they say, like, autistic kids have their, like, superhuman right. strength. Right. You know? yes. So when he blows. Well, not you know, only that, he's blind. So he doesn't yeah. even know what he's Exactly. Who's fighting, right? Yeah, yeah. So the doctor said, you know, what were you doing at 16, 17? You're sports, you're letting it out, you have a girlfriend, you're swimming, you're biking, you're jumping, you know, all these things. With him, it's all bottled Sitting up. Sitting there. And not being able to see and talk. I mean, imagine your frustration, you know, maybe I give him a hamburger. He can't say, you know, F you, Dad, I don't want a hamburger. Yeah. I want to talk, you know. Wow. So he's like, Ugh, you know, and uh, it was, wow. oh, my God, it was tough. And he said, after 22, was, you know, think about you know, we're not getting into like testosterone hormones, the man's body is changing, all those I can't explain to him, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, long story short, after 22, he seemed to mellow out now. So we're we're probably at like the best stage he's ever been in, you know. So How old is he? Yeah, so now he's uh he's gonna be 24 in April. And yeah. what age did you discover that he really enjoyed music? Because that's the big thing, right? Yeah, like yeah. that's his thing, that's his get down. At what age were you like, uh, music's his yeah. thing? That's just Exactly. Yeah, like were you letting him listen to music when yeah, he, as he was I young? I think it was like um I want to say he was like 5 or 6. I said, "Let's try the headphones on." I swear, he we never turned back. He was like little Stevie Wonder oh, just rocking man. out. I was like, "Dude, he's in his zone." Like That's he really cool. Like, imagine you can't see so He just totally consumes it, you know? And you feel so, it. He, yeah. he probably felt it. Oh, I've seen it. Oh, yeah. You showed the video, and he's yeah. like, what is his like, What is his know. favorite type of music? What makes I him happy? What's his like, what, spark, what yeah. sparks his life? I always think um, oldies, you know, okay. obviously, I love oldies, so he kind of grew up with it. Yeah. But uh, he'll do different genres. Like, oh, we'll do a little rap, a little um, hard rock. Um, but oldies sparks, like, that flame yeah, in him. Like, oldies, you know, like, he's it's chill, feeling mellow, it. It's just relaxing right you know? so we're in the house chilling and you know i just got a new little thumb drive it has a thousand oldies so i'm like wow. let that roll all day, yeah you know? and it warms but, his uh, soul he yeah, loves it he vibes out record player for him so i'm always getting new music for him um it's kind of funny the only thing they're like is there any music he doesn't like and i'm like i'm gonna throw them off today i'm gonna throw on country 
And he threw his headphones. He, he wasn't feeling the country. <laughs> I was like, hey, I don't <laughs> care. I'm sure I do the same shit. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Like, you know, I was like, you know, I like that, dude. You kind of told me you're not feeling it. So. Do you think, like, depending on his mood, it'll be the different a different type of music he'll listen to? Yeah. Well, it kind of reminds me of me. Like, when I was in the prime of my, I say, angry, crazy days, I'd be bummed. You know, I graduated in 95, so it kind of mm-hmm. gives my age away, but. You know, NWA, Easy E, yeah, Ice Cube, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill somebody. Fuck yeah. the police. <laughs> but, like, for, yeah, exactly. And then for me, I throw on the oldies and it almost grabs the serum. Oh, Five. Go home. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. Relax. And it just, <laughs> so I think it kind of like rolled over to Polly, you know, and he gets. Is he bumping up. NWA too? Nah, I keep, yeah. <laughs> I say, yeah, no more Ice Cube for Polly. Yeah. Isn't it amazing what music can honestly really do for yeah. your soul? Like, just for, for yeah, anything. That's sure. awesome. Literally soothes the soul. Yeah. Is there like, any sign, early signs people are watching that they could notice, like if their kids, like two, three year olds, to get tested for that? Yeah, you know, uh, it's funny. I know we were talking about like the culture and all that yeah. stuff too. And and I'm gonna be honest because like I talked to a lot of parents and, and sometimes they're getting like denied on our culture. Like, ah, oh, he's just slow. Ah, right, come on, Junior, you can't yeah. read. And you know, I'm like, dude, maybe get him tested. It's better to be proactive. Then you could jump on it early. Maybe something is wrong. I mean, people you know, just don't want to know. Yeah, it's like the, the numbers are up. You know, why this is happening, I don't know. But there are signs, you know, people where people do say uh, like the um vaccine shots. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. Mm-hmm. Or, but that's like that's more of conspiracy theories, I would say. Yeah, are, people have been looking into that, you know. Uh there's like some type of connection, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh why the numbers are growing, I mean but I always are they really growing right now? It's getting it's going higher and higher. Well, they're growing obviously because there's there's more tests now. Before, oh, okay. you would sense. just have a kid and they would just throw them all, or their special ed, let's throw them all in special. Mm-hmm. Ed. So now that yeah. the tests and they're, they're they're offering more services yeah, now, exactly. You know, so like they need those tests. Yeah. Okay. I mean, especially like I mean, it's the you, company. You work like, at a school. Yeah, like yeah, that, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, I, we were talking earlier. I'm a behavioral interventionist, so I work. With all my kids have IEPs. So I offer services to kids with behavioral issues and they all get certain hours with me daily in classroom um, structures. Yeah. yeah. Good guy, I know. I was, when I found that, I was like, okay, that's impressive. I would have never yeah. known, but that's like, dope. Oh, he texts me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> exactly. But let's go on. Let's yeah. go back but to. But no, like how you mentioned IEPs. I mean, I love IEPs because there'll be like 15 people in a big mm, circle. What is I'm that? Like, my, they I'm all sorry. love my son. You know, it's a is. big meeting basically to see what services mm-hmm. and um ways they could help out the student okay. okay so and they'll see like if they sit if they fit certain structures that they can offer certain services for so they hours. only do that until they're 22 yeah like 22 i think he had to check out of the district and then but what ha- what do they what happens after that's that the hard part like we're connected with regional center but to be honest it's like you're kind of thrown to the wolves like i mean wow. you'll have one person calling and kind of directing you in the right direction but it's kind of like you, you know, like before the IEPs, a speech therapist, occupational therapist, mm-hmm. mobility, and everybody's like a team. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Right. How do we get Polly to the next level? Mm-hmm. Well, once he As checks out of the school district, it's kind of like, wow. yeah, those services are gone. I mean, especially it's, it's right tough. now, too, like with, with COVID hitting, I think um, all special needs were hit the hardest, yeah. 100%, because a lot of kids could mm-hmm. go and... And I understand the parents that are upset that, oh, my kid's on Zoom. He's not with his friends no more. He has to be on the computer. He's losing that social, his social skills. But the kids with learning disabilities and special you, needs, right. they're not even on a I never I, thought you about know, that. You know, that's crazy that you say that. I would, I, I never would have thought about yeah, that Yeah, they're not on, like, so like, for instance, what I did, like I work with kids with, with severe behaviors. Right. So if you're going to tell them to be on a laptop and work with me, they're going to, throw that laptop yeah. on the fucking floor and they don't want to do nothing with it and they're done. They're getting hit yeah. the hardest. So they're not they're getting that the service. Yeah, that's the thing nobody talks about us parents. They like, don't, you're our right. Our whole life, like imagine like Polly is so routine oriented. It's like, um, you know, and they so need that routine program. in order to, to he's so used to his program right. and, and all the, you know, services he gets. And from one day to the next, it's like, okay, Polly has to be home now. What do you mean? The bus isn't going to pick him up. He's not going to have mm. all the services. So like, our life had to completely And that stop. messes with him and also it, mentally yeah. because he looks forward to his yeah, routine. Yeah, it took a good month to adapt. So oh, now wow. he's used to being at home and now we're scared like, shoot, once program opens, we <laughs> have to adjust him all the way back. It's going to be a nightmare again. So it's it's been really, that right. change has been difficult. Oh. All right, now he's comfortable at home. He's cool. He's chilling. chilling. So I but, see you, uh, you've been on Channel 7 News, Channel 4 News and mm-hmm. all that. So what, like, I know you talked about it. Well, when did you start that? The whole you said it was like what? How many years ago? Again? Yeah, it was like basically like I think the concept was like 2013, but like we were more official like 2014, and 
we came out the gate and yeah. like everybody loved the story you know it was like all the news channels radio newspapers it was really cool we had like a great jump start and people yeah. were like not only do you have your own situation you're dealing with it's like you're doing something for the community so it started off and as radios and kind of blew and up and that's mind-blowing because it seems like like i have a 10 year old son and he mm -hmm. just yeah he's too much for me on even a weekend you yeah. know like so what you're doing, I, I can only imagine, but you're not, no, only, bro, doing that, that. that's some hero you're not shit, only doing bro. that, but you're going out and skid row and helping other people out. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're probably one of the unselfish person that I, that I know mm -hmm. on some, mm -hmm. and it's, it's amazing what you're doing, mm -hmm. but how did you start? Like, did you go just buy the radio yourself and start giving them out? Cause that hurt your pockets a little bit. Yeah. I yeah. The beginning, I would just tell my family and friends my idea and they're like, Oh, that's great. Like, you know. Polly's behind it. Like, we're going to support you. So I'd get you know, $10, $20. And yeah. I'd go buy these little cheapy radios. Yeah. And people are like, get them iPods and this and that. I'm like, oh, 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 like oh. they, they can't download people music. They're not going to charge yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm you just giving them old school AM, FM, battery operated I radios. I see. How did they react when you actually started handing them out? Like, how did Well, like, it totally flipped the script because they're like, Paul, I'm having a rough day because I kind of used to go to the streets by myself with pre Polly, you know, bringing him out. Of course. And then I'd bring Polly, and they didn't really get the whole concept. So I flipped the script where they're like, I'm having this horrible day, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, wait, this is Polly. He can't see him talking. Polly down on the radio. I'd say, have a no. great day. And they felt like this. They're like, who am I to complain? Yes, I live in the tent, but this young man can't see him talk. Wow. And he's getting yeah. yeah. really something. Really when it oh, humbles yeah. a homeless person yeah. down, that's like, like, wow, yeah. that's amazing! Like, yeah, to humble a, a homeless person—that's yeah, that's how, yeah. How how is he around? Like like when you're because I saw the video too, and you're like, oh, give Polly space. Like, yeah. how does he? Does, does he, he does feel he know? Like all those people around, well, like trying to get a radio. Like, whoa, like does it bother him in a way? The first two years, I would bring. He was like my sidekick. He, the streets knew Polly. All the people were like, "Where's Polly?" You know. Mm -hmm. Um, but as he got older, he changed. He didn't really like it. It was too loud. The smell. Uh -huh. the, his sensory was like overload. Right. So I could tell I he didn't want to get out of the car anymore. I'm like, all right, Paul, I'm not going to push you. Like, it's too yeah. much. It's stressing you out. So for years, I didn't bring him. I would just, I have a big event at Gladys Park and Skid Row. I'd bring him to, like, the big events. And he's, like, the celeb. All the people are finally That's Paulie's cool, here. Man. I swear he has, like, 10 people around. Like, he's the president. I'm like, dude, nobody's mm -hmm. going to touch him. Relax. Nobody touches Paul. I mean, they guard That's him. Like, so does cool. does, yeah. does Paulie know what he's doing? In a sense, like, I, have know, you talked to him about I, it? I've explained to him, okay. but again, I mean, imagine somebody who's never spoken his life. Right. I don't know what he comprehends he can't or doesn't. See, right. uh, he is very smart. You know, like a day with Polly, I could say, hey, Polly, we're going to take a shower, take your shirt off. He'll take it off. He'll hand it to me. Uh, hey, Polly, um, you know, whatever. So everything's he, like verbal prompts and commands. He's smart. He can listen. Right. Obviously, his hearing's better than all of us, if that's your main sense. Right. You know, but. Um, and he feels so. So you do tell him what he's doing. Oh, though, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. yeah, definitely. So take us through like a day. So you get you, like people donate radios and you go to Skid Row. Like, how does that work? You just hand them yeah, out to anybody? Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we always plug. Uh, I'm more active on Instagram. So follow us at Polly's Project. But I always say you. The, the first and third Sunday of the month, we meet at Farmer Boys here downtown on okay. Alameda. Okay. And um, a lot of people, that's a good drop off thing. So we always need cases of water, uh, fruit, socks, clothing, shoes, socks. Um Every oh. first and yeah, first and third, third. Sunday. So we just okay. went this past Sunday. It's almost like every other Sunday. So right. next Sunday we're off and then we go back again. Okay. Um, but if we tell people if you want to drop off your donations there, that's a great thing. So twice a month, or you can come out with us. And we um I did Skid Row, like me and Polly, the first three or four years. And Skid Row is like the hub. So a lot of organizations go down the weekend giving food and stuff. Yeah. So my niche was like, I'm gonna go a little further out. So I started hitting the outskirts of downtown. And nobody goes to these encampments under freeways. You know, homelessness yep. is everywhere. Right. Um, but out there, they really appreciate it. They're like, you're the only organization coming out here. People, People forget, forget about, about us, them. you know. So that's been my niche. So, like, what we'll do, we'll meet at Farmer Boys. We do, like, a caravan. We had, like, 20 cars. And we just, they follow me. We, you know, I always say it's, like, almost like Halloween, you know. I go to each it. car. One car is food. One car is hygiene kits. One wow. car. And we give them a bag. And they go down. And, uh, you know, they always say the hardest part of homelessness is loneliness. Right. And my volunteers, we know them by name. It's that, you know, um, bond that we, you know, connection. connected with them, you know. So, um, you know, people always put me on a pedestal. I said, I don't think I'm really doing anything big because I'm so humble about it. It's like, you know, I wipe my son's butt. I, I change him. I feed him. I bathe him. So when I go out there, it's just in my nature. That's right. I'm a caregiver at heart, you know. So, right. um, But I just want to encourage others to get involved in this. You know, I want to inspire people, right. you know. so um, Well, I'm inspired. Beautiful. Me too. I'm inspired. And mm -hmm. I would love to help any way that I can. That's amazing. It would be kind of cool if, um, I don't know if you're up for it, but PG and GB on yeah. the um, can't get your son there. Oh, like definitely. Music. Be oh, yeah. yeah, especially because he loves oldies and she does yeah. the oldies maybe, Sunday. Maybe you guys could promote 
Um, the, yeah, of yeah, course. Field, that would be amazing. Well, I'm, I'm hoping to have another big event. You guys could come out and you yeah, know, volunteer. Yeah, of course. And I would. Things yeah. kind of get back to normal. You know, I I definitely. Know. I would like to donate yeah. too. Um, yeah. Same. Headphones sure. and. So anything we can do to no help, I mean, you know, right? <laughs> exactly. anything that we can do to help so and, like, yeah, and push definitely. it out there, I, yeah. we would so love like to So like use radios that. or it could be any, any kind of radio or just like yeah, new radio? Yeah, um, Where, where can we buy like, um, I don't, I, well, cheap radios for, for people that are watching? Like yeah. Buy them below. Do you, oh, have, yeah, really? do you have like an Amazon store say, yeah, or something? I've, I've coll- uh, if you click the link in my IG bio, it okay. takes you straight to my Amazon wish list. So there's awesome. radios, all socks, like. All there the items go. we need, hygiene kit items. Amazing. Um, there's, you know, blankets, yeah. uh, tarps, so, tents. So you if know. you can, it, a lot of people, we have people listening like nationwide. So if you can't make it out here down Cali on a first and a third, then you can always go to his link and you could yeah. donate. Well, donate a lot of people, there. you know, they see us out there in the trenches. They're like, that's a little rough for me. I, that's over my head. No problem. We need donors from the backside. You know, if you could help in right. any way, you know, this thing's gone for nine years and it's we nine need the community years support, wow you know so paul paulie is a kind of like a he's kind of big time because there is a big mural him in downtown la right? yeah there's like oh. three or four big murals wow. uh, just got a tatted streets. up you know a little paulie right here that does look and, that's, right. and, that's, and that's nico hurtado Fresh one of the best ones shout yeah, out to nico amazing. yeah so paulie gets a lot of love um that's why I, say, I look at him, you know, sometimes it's just me and him in my room. And I'm like, this guy doesn't know. He's changed thousands of people's lives through volunteers and, you know, those experiencing yeah. homelessness. And wow, I think that's, that's my amazing. biggest thing. You know, when I go through with Pauline, and it's like when we see people in the streets, it's like, don't judge. You don't I know what people are going. I think it's cool. Through, you never know. know what anybody yeah. is. Yeah. I think it's yeah. cool because even right now, like you give Pauline the credit, but like you're not giving yourself yeah, ever credit. Like this is thing, you. Yeah. Like I know this is you, bro. Yeah. Like. Well, if you're, dude, if, if you're not giving like, yourself I'm credit, I'm gonna, on the map. I'm gonna give you credit. We'll, we'll give you credit, man. Because you are doing, you job. you started this and you are yes. doing this. For, oh, granted, it's for Polly and it's behind Polly, but like it's you as well. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. not only are you with your son taking care of him daily, you're out there grinding, giving out to the community too. Right. Like, bro, I would be like, oh, I'm gonna have enough yeah. of my son. I'm just yeah. gonna chill here. Because, yeah. because, yeah. You, have, yeah. because you really you do have an everyday struggle. That's how I feel. So, I mean, probably you, bro. Well, I mean, because you really do have an everyday struggle. Be a you're this still motherfucker still, right there. Yes. And you're Paul's still project, giving. I'm like, okay, I don't tell people. I work full time too. So it's oh, like I get, wow. up, get off work, go pick up Polly and mom's house, bring him home. Once I get him down, then I'm like, all right, now I can work on Polly's project right. stuff and call for donations. So yeah, the grind never stops, you know? So yeah. I always hear people crying. It's like, you know, you like I'll, know. I'll, I'll have a rough yeah. morning with Polly, you know, he'll freaking go off of me. My hair is off. So, you know, I go outside. I'm like, oh. And then I'll drop them off at mom's and then I'll go down to Skid Row. And, you know, I know these people. First, how's your day going, Jeff? F it, Paul. I want to commit suicide. Blah, blah. Yeah. And oh I'll talk God. to Barbara. I just got raped last night. Blah. And then oh, I go home wow. and it's like overload. Like, imagine what I go wow. through and see. Wow. And then I'll talk to my friend, Steve. You don't know what I'm going through, Paul. I can't pay my spread bill. I'm like, oh, dude, yeah. seriously, come closer so I can smack you. Know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like right. You know, can you like, hear me now? There's nothing good yeah. on Netflix right now, Paul. <laughs> exactly. Right. But it really humbles no, you. No, for you know? sure. Like the things we take for granted, others are praying for, you know? Oh, boy. Wow. I, mean, That's, really, I love that. The things we take for granted, others are praying for. You're right. You, your, your story's badass, bro. I mean, we, everyone that's out there, man, like we said, like, just don't watch and like really do something you know what i'm saying yeah. it's not that hard to and donate this, and this is even about i know we're talking about you know support latino but this is like support this if you don't support right. anything like just support this at least if you can't support your home race or like you know support support this yeah it's amazing mm-hmm. come on like yeah. on some real stuff how could you hate on this you yeah. can't if you do then i don't know what's wrong with you on some real stuff. Yeah. I mean, we want we want to thank you for coming on. No, it, thank it, you it, guys. Is there anything you want I'm, to say? I'm definitely yeah. humbled and I'm inspired. Yeah. And anything that I can do to help, I would love to help. Yeah, That's no, amazing. thank you guys yeah. for, for inviting me and sharing our story. And I hope we can encourage and inspire others to help those in need. And, you know, you never know what's going on. You know, people meet me and I don't even talk about me and Polly. I'll talk about Polly's project. God, how do you do Polly's project? And they're like, what's the backstory? And they tell them that. They're like, I'm in overload. This yeah, is yeah. too much. Yeah. Like, you right. Know, I'm pretty sure we could have went like yeah. all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, 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 two more hey, hours. Shout out to Polly if you're listening to oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Polly, shout out yeah. to you, Polly. What's up, Polly? Yeah, for sure. Is there anything you want to say? Um, any kind of tags or? Um, yeah, no, I mean, um, I'd say I'm more uh active on Instagram. So follow us on Instagram. Click the link in my bio. It takes you to like our Venmo, PayPal, Amazon wish list, our YouTube store. You know, like I have that one little link that takes you everywhere. So. You know, we need the support. You know, people just say, oh, it's a great story. Well, it doesn't end there. You know, we yeah. need your help. 
You know, if it's people sponsors for radios, for batteries, I put batteries, I bought yeah. thousands of batteries over the years, you know, and all the little things. So, um, yeah, man, just want to, you know, give back to our community that at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It doesn't matter. I deal with white, black, brown, Asian. There you go. It, it, I don't see color, you know. Just bring awareness. If somebody needs help, they need help, you know. Right. So uh, we just have to uplift each other, especially in these times. Especially in go. these times. Amen. 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 You, yes. you it was me, amazing. Dude. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back with some closing words. Thank you. Gotta grow sometimes I've been trying to reach my goal Through the depths of my soul But know it's slow sometimes I done try to make my money Trying to work my way I didn't go for mines I've been going all for five I done seen the past future And they both surprised Trying to live in the moment With a hope and ties I take my fate I bet it's cold sometimes Sometimes Yeah Welcome back <laughs> <laughs> I just took Rocky's life yeah, um, oh, She's a permanent host now So thank you <laughs> Like, she's back. You, you you did good. I'm proud of you. No, like she's always she's always been good. It's just that like I, I I honestly think she's super fucking cool. I don't know why you were saying that other stuff earlier. Tell me more. Oh, no, God. <laughs> I mean my 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 friends and followers loved her. They did. Yeah, they liked her kind of more than you. Almost. I think so. Yeah. Well, let's get back to our guest. Um, so Kathy, how kick ass. What a kick-ass guest we had. Amazing. Yeah, I'm honestly amazing. really, really inspired. That was amazing. And I needed to hear that story. I just oh. feel like just a little bit like we're just complaining about, you know, support Latinos, whatever. This guy said, like, you know who I support everybody, motherfucker. <laughs> like, and that's what I up. was trying to say. <laughs> right? like, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's yeah. what it should be. I think you should support everybody. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. should support We're not everybody. saying that, but we're saying stop <laughs> hating. No, we're, we're, we're saying, the, the I don't more, want to get into just stop hating. Stop hating. That's it. Of course. come up. And I agree 100%. Because Support comes love, you know. Exactly. What I'm that's, that's, that's what, what it's all about. Anything. Yes. And I'm glad you're here for that. Yes. Yeah. We do have a um awesome lineup coming up for the next month or so. Oh. Like we're, we're pretty booked. You have no idea. Hey, you know, got. rock. Like, I mean, I'm pumped up. You um, know what I'm saying? And I mean, you've been doing a great job lately. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, the show right now is just because we don't even call it a podcast. Anymore. It's a show. It's a fucking show. It's at its point where it's just it's going, the, it's it, at the verge. Yeah. Where it's 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 getting there but you know what it wouldn't be there without everybody that watches follows and subscribes like i can't fucking tell you guys enough how much we appreciate it thanks for all the love thanks for all the support even the ones that always want to talk shit and hate on rocky <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm but burnt. like, burn it. it. But no, you like, know, the, the, the haters are always the biggest lovers oh and the biggest the supporters. Well, and true. I appreciate those haters. I, I really like, I even call it back to them just to be fun. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They, they love me and I love you guys too. But no, more than anything, thank you guys. I mean, that's what makes this fucking show keep going. And um, if you are know somebody has a, a really good story or a story that can help somebody out, let us know. DM us on the um, Street Scholar page mm -hmm. or just hit up G Money or any of us, Amherst, any of us. I'll send and, it that um, way. No, you, you'll be here again. Mm -hmm. Um, but if it can help somebody out, then like let us know, man. We're here. This is this is this is like I know we the fuck core, around. The, and, and it's we the topics. core of street scholars. Yeah, and we, and it we, is. we do topics, but like this is your platform. Like we don't care having celebrities on and all that. That's not that's not what yeah. this is for. This is for your guys' platform. I don't mean like a rapper come rap or anything like that. We don't care for rappers really. Or to promote. Yeah, we don't do that. Is it still We're, real people, real stories? Absolutely. The realest See, people, the realest the, stories. The core of Street Scholars is real people, real stories. And it's to bring awareness of, of people's everyday struggles and lives mm. and to inspire people every single day. So that's what I know Street Scholars for. Anything yeah. else? You should subscribe. And uh, <laughs> thank you all our... Our you give sponsors. me anxiety. Yeah, the sponsors. This show couldn't go without our sponsors because mm -hmm. we would we wouldn't be able to pay Wacko because Wacko's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I, 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 you should be expensive, Wacko, dealing with them. So I. Guess. Yeah. You just want him to edit you all good. <laughs> you just want him to edit you all good. Hey, all I gotta do is I just want to say that I'm very impressed in the development of the show. Like me coming back and then working in this yeah. specific uh, position here for you guys and doing what I do for you guys, it's like you guys are actually growing. I can I can see that your guys' uh, uh, sense of, of helping the community is is a lot more powerful than how you were before. And I, I continue doing what you guys are doing. I, and I think what we're doing with the show is, is something uh, unique and special. And um, not too many people are like doing, I think, what we're doing here. Everyone's too busy about the clout. 
And we're just here just trying to just share a story and just kind of just let other people uh, hit the spotlight. That other never people shine. The and Wacko does not ever compliment, ever, ever compliment. Oh. But you know, the show wouldn't be without Wacko because even um, the show, the way he edit, edits yeah, yeah, and all that, it, and it yeah. just, it's like we couldn't, couldn't. So basically, Wacko is street scholars. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a producer. No, director. he's just all of anyway. street scholars. Everybody, so thank you for listening. <laughs> you um, it's... My son Messiah's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, oh, Messiah. Happy birthday to I your love son. You, kid. Um, he's gonna be eleven. So shout to cat. Happy birthday to your son. Yeah, shout, shout to cat. My mom was scared for me to happy. come on to come back. So shout out to I'll my see mama. you on Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving. 